This one was originally £178 and I got this for £125. And this one was originally £88 and I got it for £50. A bit wonky. There we go. This is a very overdue Reese haul. It's a mini one. I've only bought two items, but goodness me, have I been staring at them for the longest. I said to myself that I wasn't going to purchase anything from Reese because I do have a slight addiction. I think the majority of my clothes are from Reese and I can't help it. I really, really love their style and it's one of these things that I've been purchasing from them since I was 16. As soon as I saved up any sort of money that is where my money was going to so that's essentially what happened but i have been eyeing especially on these pink trousers for the longest and i cannot wait to show you so recently whether you want to see this as a midlife crisis i am seeing it as exploring that's all i'm gonna see it as but i've been really wanting to wear something bright and colourful. It wasn't until I realised that a lot of my clothes day to day wear is very very dark or very very neutral and I wanted a bit of colour and I have been going into a little bit of like colour analysis and all of that stuff and I've been wanting to find exactly what kind of colours suit me so hence why I'm trying out these overly bright and saturated colours but we are going to find out. So Reese has actually launched these for ages and I've been eyeing on them for a very, very long time. And recently I thought, you know what? I've been working every single day of my life and I just wanted to treat myself. It's something that I love doing. I love purchasing clothes and instead of trying to make it a bad thing and trying to think that it's not good, I am going to embrace it. So this is this is what I'm doing at the moment. As long as my bank account allows me, I am gonna embrace this hobby of mine. So this is the pair of trousers. It is proper pink. I'm gonna tell you it's exactly the name. So this is called the Krista trousers. I've noticed that the only size they have available was either a size 14 or a size four. Recently, they got a size eight. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am a pear shape. So my top is a size eight and my bottom is at least a size 10. And while I was purchasing this, I also saw a this. This is by far the softest knit I've ever felt. It is smooth, it is buttery, it is, it's beautiful. I would call this more like a fuchsia. I'm fully aware that on camera this might look red. Turns out the initial take was actually fine. And this top I purchased for 50 pounds and it is the Izzy Pink Top. So this one is a size S and this one is a size so after I purchased these I actually went online to see if it was possible to get a size 10 in these because ideally I would like a size 10. I want to feel comfortable. I don't want to feel like a dumpling sitting down especially if it doesn't even like buckle up properly. You don't want that stretch when you put these on and it's just you can see how tight is about to burst. I actually found a place called Brand Alley and they actually sold these in a size 10. So therefore I had a size eight and a size 10. When they arrived, the size 10 was actually a little bit big on me. On the hips it was fine, but the waist it was a little bit big on me. And even then, usually, because if it's a size 10 and it just about fits, usually a size eight, I stand no chance. However, I would say this pair of trousers definitely runs a little bit large. So if you're normally a size 10, you could definitely give these a go. These are size eight. The size eight actually fits me better, as you can see here. The color of this is so beautiful. I would say it's more of a, honestly, a Barbie pink, but also towards an orchid color. It's beautiful. I love, love, love this color. I love how it looks on camera as well. And I love the fact that you can style this um, however you want. For me personally, I probably wouldn't be wearing this out where I live just because I will look like a lunatic. But if I was living in London, I reckon I could wear this and not get any weird looks from anyone. So the composition of this material is 94% wool, which is pretty crazy and 4% elastic so it is a little bit elastic and I have noticed that when it arrived it was quite wrinkly and I did actually try to iron it out but I don't know what's happened. I 
seem to have failed but then again I only spent about 10-15 minutes trying to iron this out however I am going to hang it and steam it these are very 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 pretty I should probably mention that I got both of these on sale this one was originally 178 pounds and I got this for 125 and this one was originally 88 pounds and I got it for 50 bear in mind that I don't do this often I promise you I have been eyeing on this pair for the past five six months this one I've seen it along with this but it was more the fact that I also really really like this color and it has some weight to it which I love I like them being a bit dense so the knitted top is definitely not cropped it's actually quite long it falls just about the midsection of my bottom so it does cover the majority of your hips and what I found is that if you got particularly tight bottoms or jeans that you don't really want to show. This works really well in covering it and not making it be the focal point. Another thing that I've noticed about this top as well is that it might be all tops and it might be the fact that it's brand new, but whenever you bend or create any movement, it does pucker a bit. So just remember to kind of straighten them out every now and then. The thing I like about this the most is the fact that it's quite casual, but you also look quite put together. Another thing is, if you want to see how I style these, then subscribe and like this video because that video is gonna come out next week. Trousers wise, I have been trying to stay away from jeans, especially when it comes to dressing up or trying to look presentable. I tend to veer off jeans just because it's a bit more of a thoughtless throw on for me however it depends it really works in some areas so for example the place that I'm living I would want to wear jeans because I don't really want to stand out in the crowd however if I'm at home and I want to feel good I tend to go for tailored trousers especially tailored trousers with wide legs I tend to find that they're the most flattering on me at least just because they hug my hips, they hug the waist, the fabric will just fall down, which elongates the legs, and that is the thing that I like the most. I personally thought about pairing these two together, but I felt that it might be a bit much looking at it now, um, just because they're both very intense colors and it feels like they're almost kind of fighting for each other. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this Barbie-inspired haul. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Bye.